everyone, it's Kendra here, Miss Kincaid. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and for watching this video. So today I am bringing you guys video one of my Wash and Go series. I'm going to show you guys how I got these gorgeous, define, shiny curls on my taper not your hair. So if you're interested and you wanna see how I got the curls, girl, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I'm starting off with dirty hair. I'm going to be using my favorite shampoo and conditioner, um, this Argan Oil of Morocco. These are so bomb. Check the description box for a link to both of these products. I just love them. So I have washed my hair here and um, I'm just gonna unwrap it. I wrapped it with this t-shirt to soak up some of the water. And so you see my hair, the state that it's in now. And now I'm just gonna take my leave-in conditioner, which I'm using Old Faithful, the Cantu Shea Butter. And my gel of choice is Old Faithful, my Eco Styler Gel. And of course, I'm gonna have some water on standby. So I like to section my hair off when I'm doing a wash and go. So I have it sectioned into four sections. And now I'm just going to take that Cantu Shea Butter and I'm going to rake it into my hair. So as you can see here, I'm really taking my time and raking it into my hair to make sure that it's fully saturating my hair from roots to tips. And I'm following that up with my Eco Styler Gel. Girl, I do not conserve this product at all. I slather it all over my hair. I love for my hair to be like totally, totally saturated, full of product, full of gel, full of water, because I get the best definition. And as you can see here, I was just raking the product in my hair. You guys know. You guys know my process. If you've been watching my wash and goes, uh, my previous ones, then you know that I got to rake it in my hair, separate it in my hair, and shake my hair. So rake, separate, and shake, honey. So as you can see here, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm doing it again. So I'm just gonna take the product, um, the leave-in Cantu Shea Butter after saturating my hair with water. I'm gonna take that leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to um, take my time and rake it through my hair, make sure my hair is detangled. The raking part is just to ensure that my hair is detangled. And then I'm gonna follow that up with my Eco Styler Gel. I love to slather this on my roots. This way, my curls start from my roots all the way to my ends. I can't stand to do a wash and go and like my roots are real puffy. So this Eco Styler Gel really smooths out my roots and you know creates those defined curls from roots to tips. So I'm just slathering that gel on and here I am just sectioning. You guys, I like to take small sections, honey. I gotta work in small sections because I gotta be very precise when it comes to this because that's how they last long. So I'm just separating the strands, of course. After I break the product, I'm gonna separate those strands and look at those curls, y'all. They are so bomb. I haven't done a wash and go in years. And I definitely haven't shown you guys how I do a wash and go on my taper, not your hair. So if you can tell the excitement in my voice, I am super excited because I just wasn't sure how my hair was gonna turn out. You know, our hair changes sometimes, changes over time. And I just, I've been feeling like whenever I have attempted a wash and go in the past, that my hair has changed and it, it wasn't the same as when I used to do it. I was doing something wrong back then. I don't know what I was doing, but <laughs> I got my mojo back. I got my groove back and my curls are popping. So I'm just showing you guys here. Um, now we get into the shaking. You guys, you guys, I'm gonna link the video, my original wash and go video below because you guys always die laughing when I do the shaking part. So yeah, that is uh, to keep my curls separated. So I'm just shaking my hair to keep my curls separated. And it also helps with the definition. So my hair is like super drenched right here. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I dry it. So I am bending over okay elbows on the knees okay and I'm using my blow dryer because I want my curls to dry going forward and that's that's what I have to do for my taper cut because that gives me the shape that I want so I'm bending over and I'm drying my hair once I got my hair like 30% dry then I go in and I detail dry so I take that blow dryer and I pull at my curls to get them curls to lift and stretch so this is one of the methods that I use to stretch my hair to give myself more height and more volume so yeah I should have used my concentration nozzle but I couldn't find it at the time so I'm just using the blow dryer here and as you can see I've gotten more height my hair is starting to stand up and it's looking so gorgeous 
And I'm just gonna take some shine spray and um, spray this all over my hair. I'll link it below so that you guys can have um, a link to it. And I'm just gonna spray that all over my hair, rub it in, and I just cannot get over how good this wash and go looks. And here I am just perfecting the shape. Um, I'm kind of giving myself like a little mohawk type of shape. And it's so easy to shape your hair with the wash and go. Um, it just molds into a shape. Whatever shape that you want, you're able to mold your hair into that shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. So stay tuned to part two of this wash and go series as I will be showing you guys how I stretch for length and preserve my wash and goes. So I love you guys so much and definitely let me know what you think about this wash and go in the comment section below. And yeah, I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.